Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team doing another video. For today's video, we're gonna be going over one of our 8K products. It is our 8K splitters. We have two of them. We have a one by four and a one by two. Today, we're gonna be talking about our BG8K DA14A. And that's a one in, four out. As you can see, I have it set up behind me on our 4K right now. They're just set to 4K, uh, but you can take one of your sources there and display it on four displays. Um, and you can support up to 8K at 60, 4K at 120 hertz. And this is great for um, for any uh, setup where you need to take your one source and display it on multiple displays throughout different rooms, different halls, and also supports the mainly uh, your 8K content. I know 8K is still becoming more and more relevant on the market, but if you already have your 8K material, we got you supported. And if you're looking to display that on multiple displays, as well as uh, for your video game users, this supports 4K at 120, so um, you can do that as well. So so let's go ahead and dive in what we got rolling here and how easy it is to set up. So setup is actually very simple. As you can see, we have a setup already. All the blue indicator lights mean that everything's rolling. I just took our source, which is our PS5, just plugged it into the HDMI in. I have four HDMI outs going to our three, four displays, and that's how easy it is. Um, one of the biggest thing is making sure you have the right resolutions. Um, not all TVs support like 4K at 120 or even 8K. Uh, what's great about this unit, it has the little EDID uh, dip switch on the back so you can really find fine tune which um, set which resolution you want to make sure that can all be read on a certain TV. Um, right now it's just set to 4K. I think it's sleeping on us. There we go. Um, so it also displays on one display because uh, we have different, we have a couple of Samsung uh, 4K and we also have an 8K TV. Um, so that's how simple it is. Um, but right now I'm going to show you uh, what the 8K looks like. Um, we'll just plug that right in and then we'll plug it in and show it on our 8K TV. So as you can see, we're now standing in front of our 8K TV. All I had to do was switch our source, move from our PS5 to our 8K tester, and boom. What now our TV is at 8K at 60. This also supports the unit, also supports 8K at 30, and also at 4K up to 4K at 120 hertz. Um, so that's great for gamers, like I mentioned earlier. One thing to note, I know this is meant for multiple 8K displays, but let's say you don't have multiple 8K displays. Um, it can also downscale if you're doing like one 8K display. You can also downscale to other displays at 4K at 120. So make sure your other displays, if you want to do 8K on one, just make sure your other displays support at least one 4K at 120. Also, if you only happen to have 4K at 60 TVs, that's totally fine. Um, you can easily switch the EDID switch on the unit to match that resolution. Um, but if you're looking to upgrade, this is going to be a great upgrade for you just for the future as, as things progress. As gaming units, more and more units support 4K at 120 as well as 8K um, sources. Speaking of 4K at 120, one last thing we want to show is how easy it is to plug that PS5 in or any other uh, devices that support 4K. 4K at 120 uh, into the unit and just use it, utilize that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the PS5 and show you um, just what it looks like. All right, now we're back connected to the PS5. Just switch those sources once again. And just I know for a lot of gamers out there, just make sure, depending on what TV you're using, just make sure it's on game mode to support that resolution, the refresh rate and everything. As you can see, we have our game going here. Um, and uh, you get the refresh rate going. And it's constantly refreshing, but it get hit, hit up to 120 hertz. Um, and that's how easy it is. It's very simple just to plug it in and you got your um, your game console, uh, whatever it may be that support 4K at 120, this unit will support it and uh, you could display it on all your displays. Again, this is a great unit if you're looking to split that signal, either of that 4K 120 hertz on multiple displays, as well as any of your 8K material that you're looking to, uh, to split on multiple displays as well. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or even reach out to one of our sales associates or even hit us up at tech support. Love to answer your questions or help you um, decide what's the best product for your needs. Don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these to so be notified when more videos like these come out. And that's it for today. And before I take off, I'm gonna help this guy out over here. But as always, have a great day.